you guys have worked a lot together, right? Yeah. What is this? What is this relationship like? So, is he so good that you keep going back to him, or is this a friendship that uh, you keep reviving on the movies? Okay, uh, let's just say I know. <laughs> Uh, let's just say I know Mithun uh, before I know my wife. Uh, so uh, I don't think she'll. I hope you're not seeing this baby. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's the other man in your life. Other man in my life. But uh, well, to be honest, me and Mithun started about 16 years back uh, yeah. when I was making my first film. And, right, right. And you know, back then I was 22 years of age, and uh, people wow. didn't make films at that age at that time. Yeah, yeah. Now there's a trend of having younger directors. Right. But at that time. If you said you want to direct a film, I'm trying to do this. Beta, or thora assist kar de. Ha. Uh, so plus, so when I was making my music for the film, uh, most of the music directors were not taking me seriously because, because of your age. Yeah, age. Yeah, <laughs> they were like, "Ye to bacha hai, ye kya banega?" Ha. Even when I went to meet them, they were like, "Where is the director?" So I said, "I'm the director." <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, I met Bithu at that, and he himself was uh, he was 19 at that time. Hmm. And uh, that's insane. Yeah, and I, I have to give Mr. Mukesh Bhatt and his father a lot of credit for this because they had worked together in the past in Ashiki one, and you know they know each other really well. And Mr. Bhatt knew that I had a I had a certain temperament for an emotional impulse in music, and yeah, and I wasn't just someone who wanted uh, the the groove and the sound and you know that which most youngsters normally want to do. Yeah. So they met, and this I remember being in Mahada, and I was walked across the road to meet Mithun, who was very sincerely making music at that time. Mm. I think he was he was scoring for a film. Yeah, I was assisting. Yeah, he was he was doing that, and uh, so many people don't know this: the original uh, programming and recreation of Wo Lamhe Wo Baate and Adat were done by Mithun. Oh. So you know, if you now look at it, the whole piano in the beginning, the angst, the yeah. the silence, yeah. that's Mithun. Yeah. Uh, so we started our careers together that age. It's very funny. He tweeted a photograph of that <laughs> time right now, ah. and we were so, we were smiling so much there. <laughs> and he put a photograph of us on the set when we were shooting this. Yeah. And we are so serious now, mm. and we had and we had no idea what we what what we're going to get into yeah. at that time. <laughs> yeah. So that's why I guess we were smiling. And then, but after all the success, I think so. My association with him has always been an emotional experience. I mean, it's yeah. like uh, if people ask us, we've done some great stuff together. Like, tumi ho, fir mohabbat karne chala hai tu, ek hoda, hamra, hamdard, so many songs, banjara and all. But we've never really gone. And he's the only music composer I have worked with who's not. We've never said how many. Million hits have we made in this song? Mm. It's always what is the situation of the song? What is the emotional impulse? Yeah, and we talk more about that. So I guess you know if people people then generally think that we make music for let's make a hit song, but he's the only guy who if I want a situation and it's on, invariably my most difficult situation in the film, mm. we compose a song for the situation. Crazy. And I yeah. guess that's why we've repeated each other yeah. because the way I like to tell my stories is I don't have lip sync. In most of my songs, most of my big songs, like Tumi and all, were not lip sync songs. Yeah. But they are a narrative way of telling the screenplay. No, that's and perfect. He's the only one he gets it. Yeah, and I think it's a relationship that works. Now you tell me, what is your uh, favorite part of working with uh, uh, Mohit, and what is your um, also tell me the the part that you don't like. <laughs> the, the the second part I can say a lot. <laughs> uh, go for it. Go for it. I don't mind starting with this. <laughs> Compliments well, can be given later. <laughs> no, I'll I'll get to that later, but. I think the best part of working with a director like Mohit so is that as he said you know he'll in spite of our track record and our people and our music has connected so much with people but he'll never come to my studio uh, with the expectation of a hit song for the lack of a better word mm. you know because uh, after the track record that we have a lot of people uh, even till today I face this you know they they're, they're looking for a, another to me or, yeah. or an, yeah. a, another fir bhi tumko chahunga And now maybe another interzar. <laughs> and I hear that sometimes this is the request. Yes. That uh, we have to make a hit song. Exactly. Yeah. That's not the request. No, no, not the request. That's the brief. That's the brief. The brief. <laughs> no, no. Okay. The brief is what is the situation? Ek aur tumi ho de do. Oh. That's the brief, right? That is the brief. And, yeah. And it But keeps changing with that. every film of his. <laughs> it, it was woh lamhe woh baatein for the first half of our career. Then <laughs> it became uh, dil sambhal ja zara. <laughs> then it became tumi ho. Then yeah. it became hamdard. Then it became fir bhi tumko chahunga. <laughs> so. Uh, so ye ek aur baar bana do types. <laughs> correct. <laughs> Which is it is humbling as a composer that people yeah. like my music. But then creatively it does me no good. It leaves me in a very of blank course. spot. Yeah. 
but mohit will always come to you he's very he, uh, he's very he's very human if, if that's the word i can i can use for of him of course yeah and he and he and he knows how to contextualize like uh, even though his films are so intense if you see his his works in in kalyug yeah uh, avarapan you know some of his earlier works also so young he was but it's it's got so much of intensity but while making the while working on the film he'll never make you realize that we're doing something <laughs> something so intense yeah it's more like he'll just come he'll walk around Sometimes I see him strolling down my studio compound. I see, oh, what are you? I see him from top. Yeah. What are you doing? He's just like no, lurking. I, yeah. yeah, I came half an hour early. I'm just walking around. I don't like being late, or I don't like being early. Also, so you just go to the so, compound of the building and lurk. Yeah, I, I'm given a time, so I rather be on time. <laughs> so I. No, that's not true. It's not, it's not, <laughs> sometimes he's thinking. Sometimes he doesn't know what he has to tell me. Yeah. <laughs> most, sometimes or most of the times I don't know what I'm going to tell you. <laughs> we pretend, and then we get to it. <laughs> Interesting.